Hello everybody, it's Alice here and welcome to another unboxing. Now, I know I haven't put up an unboxing in quite a long time since about January was it? I'm not sure. The last one was a foam pickaxe review and I've got the Minecraft foam sword. I might just show it to you. It's pretty much the same as the pickaxe and well, as you can see here, you've got a phone box right in front of you. Not a real phone box, the one you find in the street. A box that holds a phone. Then again, that's just the same thing. A cardboard box with a phone, with a mobile phone in it. So, <clears throat> let me just zoom in there. As you can see, it's an Argyle C Ace. Flipping zoom. Sorry, it's just low on battery. And um, as you can see, it's actually um, a Galaxy Ace. Model GTS. Wait, what is it? It says here. Um, sorry. It says product S GTS 5839i plate pay T. And the color, color is Onyx Black. And it says they're made by Samsung. Nice to. Uh, barcodes and stuff. There's no sim in the box though, so because um, I've got the reason I got this this phone which I'm gonna call the Mark II is because um the original phone that have, that featured in um the Magolf Knight um <coughs> God rest its soul. It took a virus and lost its fight. So um, we got a switch for this, since everything else was in perfect condition, and um, well, just decided to get a new Galaxy Ace. They're very good and reliable phones, just depending on what you go on, on the internet. Cause um, well, I should have really put on like some antivirus thing on it, but that was just me. So um, anyway, it says here. It is a Samsung. See the phone here? Not actual size, of course, it's not that small. Samsung Galaxy Ace, and then it sort of gets okay ish, I guess. And it says up here faster 832 MHz CPU. Not sure if you can see that. Okay, <laughs> sorry, terrible camera. Well, it's not that terrible. Full 1080p, but not very good for focusing. But without further ado, let's open it. It says here. I'm just going to read along from the top. <coughs> HSDPA, which is HSDPA 7.2 megabytes dual band, 900 slash 2100 megahertz. The quad band is the quad band 850. Slash nine hundred slash one eight hundred slash one nine hundred megahertz, and then I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that's a screen. <laughs> it's a three point five inch HVGA TFT LCD, whatever that means. That's a five meg megapixels AF camera with LED flash, eight hundred and thirty two megahertz CPU. TouchWiz for Android, Social Hub, and GPS slash geotagging. It says here Android technology here. Bluetooth here. Wi Fi here. I actually haven't tried out the Bluetooth, should. And um, DLNA certified. And then it says the model number GTS 58399i. Not sure if you can see that. I can't see it through the viewing on the camera. And. Oh, you see that it's um slightly well. You see it's opened because um I was just opening it to see what, if everything was in it. Everything is, and well except the SIM card we didn't door one then. Um, so let's open it. Inside you find the Android version of the iPhone, only cheaper. The Galaxy Ace itself. Now we'll get back to the Galaxy Ace in a minute. I'll just leave it there so you can see it. And um, <clears throat> and here is a sort of tray-like thing. I should probably use this to hold my phone. Looks kind of awesome. 
And again, I've got a case around here. And then you see an alternate back. It's completely white. I prefer the black one because it's got more of like a like rugged design on it. And then here's um like a starting guide and warranty information and such. And then it just says GTS five eight three nine without the I here. And then it just says GH ninety dash And um well comes with a micro SD here and a micro SD adapter and <clears throat> I'll just put it back so you can see everything sure if you can I'll just put the back into view this is actually a really good phone it's a very powerful phone as well and as well here you get the battery it's a it says here, please refer to manual before using battery, right there. But, um, it says here, it doesn't say anything. Oh, it's a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. Here, 3.7 volt lithium, lithium ion. It actually lasts quite a long time, depending on what you go on. Well, with me, um, always going on YouTube and watching videos and stuff, like for ages, and for me the battery would last like a day, but that's just on my phone. Well, my old phone, it's probably not comparable to this. And here's a charger, it is a micro USB adapter, as you can see here. <coughs> and. Here's a USB adapter with the micro USB at one end and no USB 2.0 there. And here's in the box, there's the pen holes. And well, that's pretty much it. I'll just bring the camera around here. Oh, dang it. Um, so, here's pretty much all there is. Here's the phone itself. Put that down in the middle, right side up as well. Really like that phone because it's just a very reliable and you can pretty much get anything on it. But one thing I do not like about it is I can't get Minecraft Pocket Edition, which really sucks. And you see everything there. That is all in this tiny box. So it probably is a street phone box. But anyway, back to the phone. <coughs> the phone itself is wrapped in a sort of bag thing. Well, of course you take it out and then... Sorry, I'm just taking out a chair. In the kitchen, on the kitchen table. There's a peel off thing here. It says Galaxy Ace. It says here Android technology. Yeah, it's better than I. <coughs> it says... 832 megahertz CPU, GPS and Wi-Fi certified. It says Samsung up at the top. So um, people would ask like, is that an Apple? Well, it's kind of noticeable it's not an Apple by the button on the bottom. Except it's got sort of a, an iPhone 3G shape. So you just um, cover the button and show them the logo and say, oh, so it's not an Apple. But <coughs> Never done straight that. Just mm. fell off the top of my head. And so I'll show you how to plug in the charger and everything. So um first you put a thumb in here or thumbnail. You may need to use like a flathead screwdriver for this if you haven't got any nails. This is hurting my fingers. And ah, so sort of hard to get off when it's split new, but you get your suit for time. There's no SIM card in, and we need to put in the battery. So take the battery, and dang it, can get out. And you just that's it. Just pull it out, rip out, rip it out of the package, and pull it out. Oh, there's just some current just came off. It's just off the USB slot. 
I, I mean the micro SD slot. And um, stick in the battery, put it in the car, and it's ready for charging. And so I'll show you the basic functions of the phone. Well, here is a Samsung home button, a notorious Samsung home button. Now it's notorious, it's a Apple one, like on the iPad Touch and the iPhone, but it's also on the I iPod um, <coughs> Nano, but sort of a triangle in the middle of the button, but anyway, I guess um, Android is more stuff on it, and so... <laughs> But for the here on this side is the um, options button. You hit it, and then a lot of options come up on the bottom here. And the back button to get rid of the options, or else go to the last page that you visited. Very useful. And then um, here is the micro US uh, micro SD port. You just um take it off there. There's no SD card in, as you can see here. Well, can't really see it. I can barely see it and of course this is the power button and these two are the volume buttons. The thing I like about the oh and here's the earphone jack. The thing I like about the Galaxy Ace is that its charge hole is really protected like there's a thing that slides across like here's the thing the charger port and then you open it it slides across and then there's a charge hole like it and so um <coughs> I'll just place that there so pretty much about um charging the battery for the first time you have to plug it in to the wall which is wherever the wall is well into an extension lead depending on what sort of sockets you have and then you so, I've got favorite parts of my phone already. Uh, it's just lights. And, um, anyway, <laughs> off track. And, um, you plug it in, wait till it's fully charged, and then you turn it on and then set everything up with your email address and everything. But remember to turn on Wi Fi because it'll end up, you'll end up eating, you'll, your phone will end up like eating a load of credit through receiving emails if you don't have Wi Fi on. So it's recommended that you get a modem and put in the IP or like pay for annual payment. No, but we use some um, WPA security. And <coughs> and well, that's by that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. 13 minutes. I don't know if it would be that long. Well, I guess my um, Minecraft videos have been longer. I do might be doing a few more series. I just got Star Wars Battlefront 2 and Surgeon Simulator 2013. And, well, I guess that's about it. This is Lee Mellis signing out. Bye!